hi there beautiful people welcome to another video and of course welcome if you're new hi my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share a one nail art design like a one nail nail art design however you want to call it of course you can recreate this on all of your nails if you want to but to not make this a super long video I'm just going to share how I did this to my thumbnail only so yeah of course you want to start off with clean nails and apply your base as well as your colored coat as you can see i already applied it but i will just share with you what i used in a minute and of course if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet i would really appreciate it if you would like to do so hit that notification bell and become a part of my little nail family but what i used off camera is the pjr care base coat as well as this beautiful lavender kind of purple color by essie from their expressi collection other than that i'm going to use four other essie colors these are from their new spring 2022 nail polish collection i have purchased every polish or at least colored polish that i'm going to use in this video myself so i'm not sponsored or anything to share this video with you guys but i'm going to start off by adding the four additional essie colors in kind of like an abstract design to my nails so i'm not going to use any additional tools or something like that i'm just going in with a brush that comes straight from the bottle you can do this very randomly it doesn't really matter where you place the colors just go with your instincts just go with the flow and wing it just apply the colors wherever you want to so i started off with a minty green with just a little like blob down the nail more towards the tip of my nail and I'm going to add that lighter pink color, like the very, very light pink color, a little bit overlapping the mint green and just place a similar blob, but a little shorter. Then I wanted to do something around like the cuticle area with this nice, soft, peachy color. And once again, there are no rules to nail art. You don't have to be like a super nail art ninja to do this. Just make sure you have a little bit of a steady hand while doing this. So you don't have a lot of flooding around the cuticle area or onto the skin next to the nails. So yeah, just have a little bit of a steady hand if you can. And I feel you guys, I don't have steady hands at all. I get the shakes like a ton. And especially when recording, when I try to think like, okay, I really can't shake right now. That is the moment when I start to get the trembles and the shakes. So just don't try to overthink it. Just go with the flow. Be zen. Be relaxed. This is a little bit of me time while doing your nails. So definitely grab your nail supplies and paint your nails together with me while doing this design. I am only going to apply a couple of dots of this lighter yellow color. I am using a dotting tool for this, but if you don't have a dotting tool, just go in straight from the brush that comes with the polish or maybe use a toothpick or anything like that. I just wanted to add a little bit of like a smaller kind of dot. So that is why I did go for my dotting tool. But once again, you don't have to apply dots if you don't want to, and you can just go onto the nail straight with the brush but yeah i'm just going to add some random little dots it really once again doesn't matter <laughs> where you place them this is just one of those design that you can really do while following your own mood your instincts your feelings just do whatever feels good to you and looks pretty to you because there simply are no rules to nail art but yeah after you have applied all of your color the way you want it to be let that polish dry fully before going in with an optional stamp design i'm just going to use a stamping polish by nicole diary as well as a stamping plate uh, this white polish i actually got the cap loose from the brush that sometimes happens if you use your polishes a lot 
sometimes just the glue that holds the cap and the brush together kind of like evaporates or dissolves or something like that you can easily fix that by applying a little bit of nail glue or maybe like some super glue on the inside of the cap where it actually adheres to the brush this is just like a little side tip that i really wanted to share with you because it was quite like a surprise to me as well that the cap came loose of the brush in this particular video for this polish so yeah just a little side tip you can easily fix that if you have done a little drop of that glue into the cap where it adheres to the brush just screw it back on let it sit for a couple of minutes and you're good to go you can just use it once again like normal I am going to use the Stamper by Essence. This one is unfortunately discontinued. It is the best stamper I have ever used in my life. But yeah, if you have any additional, like maybe recommendations of stampers that you really really love let me know in the comment section down below because i'm curious to find another new favorite and i think a lot of the other people watching this video are really curious to hear about that as well so let me know if you do know any brand or specific stamper that you love and would like me to try out as well but yeah, I'm just going to add a couple of different stamps, like leafy kind of designs. And I also, on the plate that I used, had an image of a little ladybug, which I thought was so cute. I just wanted to add another one to it because, you know, it's spring. Spring has sprung, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I'm really, really happy to do more spring-like designs and to make it even more like fabulous and just lovely i'm going to add some translucent glitter that is actually the exact same glitter that i used on my right hands design as well which i did a little short on here on youtube so if you want to see more about that check out that short video that i posted a couple of days ago because um, it is just a really beautiful translucent glitter it kind of shifts from a purpley pink towards a greenish gold really gorgeous and it looks different on top of um, different kind of base colors as well so yeah first of all because we have stamped i am going to use the nicole diary no smudge top coat and i am going to place the loose glitter into that wet layer as well so you might want to work a little bit faster than usual when doing something like this because the no smudge top coat tends to dry really fast too but then again if you have applied a more thick coat which i would highly recommend if you are going to place some loose glitter into that as well um, you do have a little bit more time to play around with the glitter so the glitter mix that i used i actually bought it i think like two years ago at aliexpress i really have no idea where exactly i got it at aliexpress but there are a ton of glitter sellers on there so definitely check them out they're really inexpensive so i think i only paid maybe like 50 cents for the entire like little jar that i got i think it's a five gram jar that i got um, but the glitter in there actually has three different sizes and i have only used the smaller and the medium sized glitter because the bigger ones were a little bit too much for this specific design i have used the bigger ones on my right hand design like the strawberry um, kind of design but it really worked out better for those nails um, because there was already a lot going on on this particular nail with all of the different colors and the stamp design and so on but because i still want to keep on challenging myself i decided to add the matte taco by holo taco so i am going to do a matte finished design today can you believe it i am really trying to get rid of my glossy finish addiction a little bit because you guys know me i love a glossy finish if i can choose between matte or glossy i will always go for glossy but just to switch things up a bit and to really like challenge myself i was like i'm going to add a matte top coat and just see how it looks because i've seen so many different designs with glitter as well with a matte top 
code and it just looks so magical and just fairy like and that is exactly what i wanted to go for for this particular design as well it is a super soft pastel matte spring design but with a little touch of matted glitter as well which i totally love but this was my entire new design already thank you guys so much for watching i love you so so much and i hope to see you in my next video as well Thank you.